Sellers want to know, is aerial photography worth it? Does it stand up to all the hype? Should sellers and their agents be hiring a drone photographer? Hi, I'm Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team uh, with EXP Realty. We put out videos every week and I'm here with some tips for all of my home sellers this week. And um, please, if you find this content valuable, hit the subscribe button, give us a like. If you have any questions or you wanna add anything, leave it in the comments, we love to collaborate. So in this video, I'll be breaking down one of the many tools that agents leverage uh, for marketing and listing a home for sale. So first things first, does drone photography impact your sales price? Well, honestly, the answer isn't exactly straightforward. There's a few factors that affect and impact uh, the impact of drone or aerial photos. So the first one is gonna be the location of the house. Like, is there anything special or notable that people should see? Do you have a pool? Um, do you have a gigantic backyard? Did you put a new beautiful roof on? Is there something that can be shown by a bird's eye view, by that aerial view that you wouldn't see otherwise in the regular standard, standard professional photography that would significantly impact somebody's experience of viewing your home? That's what you need to be thinking about there. All right, so the second thing that you should know is, is it visually appealing? Is the house visually appealing? How does the roof look? How does the yard look? Um, what's going on with the neighbors, the neighbor's house, the neighbor's yard, and the neighborhood? Um, how is it going to look? Like, is it going to end up being a nice picture or would it probably be better if we didn't show that? So if your home has a really weathered roof or, let's say something's going on with the house that just visually is not going to turn out nice or show from that aerial view, then aerial photography will probably not be worth it for you. I wouldn't recommend doing it and investing. Um, if like really the, the biggest instance that that's gonna happen is if like the roof really looks bad, something like that. Next thing you could should consider is when you go to photograph, is the weather nice? right? Has it just rained? Is everything wet and like a darker showing? Or is it a beautiful sunny day that's going to really actually highlight the home and show it nice and bright? That does make a big difference. All right. And the next thing you should consider is how is, how are the plants and the landscaping set up? Like, are there too many trees to see the house in the yard? Like, is it cumbersome? Is because there's been in instances where we've had aerial photography taken, and it's just all trees, the tops of trees. That really is not going to work to your advantage. Um, but on the flip side of that, if you have a really beautifully manicured yard, and you have some really beautiful trees, especially here in Florida, where we've got these beautiful different varieties of palms, um, that's going to show so nice on aerial photography. And just a little bit of a segue as well, you might have a situation where the home itself might not photograph the most beautifully, or like some of the examples that I gave earlier in the video, or maybe there is a lot of tree cover. Most of the instances where we uh, actually use the aerial or the drone photography is for um, instances like we have a listing on the beach, right? So we can actually show by zooming all the way out a bird's eye view of exactly where does that home sit in proximity to the ocean or in proximity to the river or in proximity to a park or whatever that looks like. That's a great tool. Or another great shot is like if a home is located on a waterway or a lake, that's gonna show really beautifully as well. So if your home maybe isn't the most notable in terms of like, the roof is nothing fancy or the yard isn't too fancy and that's fine. Um, but let's say the location is really fantastic. It's in close proximity to something great. And here in Vero Beach specifically, we have a barrier island. So we have river and ocean that is just so desirable to be next to. 
if your home is in that situation or in that proximity, aerial photography is absolutely something that you should leverage to show that because otherwise you're not going to get that effect from just your typical listing photography. All right, so really the last point I wanna make is from a marketing standpoint, you wanna understand buyer psychology. And without getting technical, you really need to know that people are very visual and they're emotional too, we're emotional beings. So if we can create an experience for people, an experience for a home buyer looking online at photos of listings, a positive experience that's going to evoke a feeling, an emotion, and a connection, that's gonna be so great for us. We wanna capture their interest. So if the aerial photography will help us accomplish that, then it's worth it, hands down. Um, depending on where you're at, this additional service should cost you anywhere from $150 to $200. It just depends on where you're at, the, photo uh, the photographer, et cetera, et cetera. You should definitely see this investment return to you in terms of increased interest, especially with buyers looking online. Those photos are so impactful and your increased interest is going to yield more competition, which is going to yield higher offers. And ultimately that's what we want to do for you. We want to get you the highest price possible for your beautiful home. In closing, that's really what I want you to think about when you're thinking about aerial photography or drone photography. Is it worth it for you to go that route? Is it worth it for you and your agent to um, purchase that service and utilize that as a tool? It's gonna be um, subjective and situational, but I hope that this is helpful for you. If you have any questions at all, leave me a comment below. I check those all the time. I'm happy to, to kind of give you more information or a little bit more insight if you need it. Please also don't forget, go hit that subscribe button now and give us a like and tune in next week for our next video. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.